Wes Smith is joining us now. Uh, Wes, you've got a new piece up at ACLJ.org, The New China Syndrome, Why the People's Republic of China Should Worry Everyone. Tell people about what they'll learn from this. Uh, and again, it's available at ACLJ.org. Yeah, well, we'll learn about a lot about what you've already been talking about, about the World Health Organization and the origins of the virus, which is a part of the piece. But basically, you know, I deal with the, the real threat to world order and world peace that is the People's Republic of China, the military buildup in international waters, uh, threatening Taiwan, human rights abuses on the mainland in China, oppression in Hong Kong, intellectual theft and internet fraud, unfair trading practices where they use uh, cheap labor and often forced labor to flood the market with inexpensive Chinese products, and of course the whole COVID-19 uh, thing. And concerning the World Health Organization, as you've been discussing, their credibility is in shambles. And there are two large reasons for that. There are more than two. But one of them is the lone American who is on that investigative board for the World Health Organization is a guy named Peter Daszak. He is the president of the Eco Health Alliance. From that alliance, his organization has received millions of dollars from, from the virology lab in Wuhan, China. All right, so let's go back and restate this because this is – why you continue to listen to this broadcast through every segment. I want Wes to restate that. So this is our representative mm -hmm. on this international committee. Right. And this committee in their preliminary report says, oh, it did not come from Wuhan, China, from the right. laboratory. And he, he concurs with that. But Peter uh, Daszak is his name. He's the president of the Eco Health Alliance. His organization, he's the president, has received millions of dollars from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And then, of course, you also have the fact that, that Director Tedros Ghebreyes, uh, who is the head of the World Health Organization, was nominated for that position by the People's Republic of China. As this is all going on, listen, it gets worse. China still, to this day, refuses to let international medical teams have access to their own documentation over the virus. They have, to this day refuse to let this board that is there with these gentlemen have access to the two labs in Wuhan. When Chinese doctors tried to speak out about it last year, they were silenced. One of them was in prison who later died. And here in the last few months, there were 18 international journalists in China to investigate the origins of the virus. China expelled every one of them. Okay. So you look at the, first of all, Wes has got a great article up. We'll get this out on all of our social media platforms too. Uh, and you need it. You need to read it. It's called the New China Syndrome: Why the People's Republic of China Should Worry Everyone. But and the violations of international law here are so clear. And then, as Wes just shared, the reality that this whole board they came to this investigatory board is nonsense. Yes, it is. And and the idea. Could you imagine that, if that was your jury? Yeah, I would have a great jury. I wish you, I was, your defendant is also funding your juror. <laughs> and all my witnesses are being paid by the defense, and the judge is owned by the defense. I mean. It's set up. I mean, Wes's article, which I've read and is absolutely excellent. Uh, Chinese expelled also uh, 18 foreign journalists and put limits on research into the outbreak and still prevents their scientists from speaking to reporters. This is just from Wes's article that I've just read. The Chinese are not, will not, and, and have never been transparent. They are not going to allow inquiries into the origins of this virus. They put on the board... This guy, Gibrasis, which West points out as an Ethiopian who is not a medical doctor. He is the head of the World Health Organization. And as West has pointed out, has a long standing relationship with whom? Senior leaders of the Chinese government. And the World Health Organization delayed revealing the initial outbreak of the virus last year at whose request? China's request. What are we doing here, Jay? I, I, well, you know what we're doing? Nothing. We're letting them do this. So if you don't think there's influence of the Chinese government in this stuff, wake up, folks. Now, what we're going to do is something. Because, Stan, you're telling me that basically Congress is a no-go on this. Just not going to happen. I think Congress is a no-go. I might add something, though, Jay. I think we are doing something. I think the Biden administration is choosing to rejoin the yeah, World Health Organization, right. which is the entity who is advancing falsehoods because the people that initiated those falsehoods are on their payroll. Jay, I think our role is finding out why they're doing that and who, by the way, is still there in the administration advancing that theory. Jordan, politically, and then I got another question for us, politically, 
you would think this would be a big issue. All yeah, I think that what's happened, though, is that while it's a big issue, and you know, our audience is listening in on this, when you get to business leaders, yeah. when you get to um, not just politicians, business leaders, even medium-sized businesses I'm talking about, they might get apprehensive when you say, we're going to have to cut off, you know, cut off your business with China then. Because that's where they see the criticism leading to is right. Ultimately, to 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 slay the dragon, if you will, you have to cut you you have to cut off its sources of income, and its sources of income are directly flowing from basically all the goods in the United States. That scares big business, medium business, small business, manufacturers, people who import parts from the manufacturing, and so suddenly you get these stories that pop up, but there's not a lot of follow up. And 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 there's not a lot of um, there there, and I think yep. it's because people get nervous when you say we need to cut. It's not like cutting off Iran. Yeah, exactly. So Wes, based on your research and your analysis, what is our risk here? Great risk, and as Jordan has indicated, it is. It appears that our business leaders and our political leaders are not willing to confront the risk. It has risk economically. Uh, national security, and I said earlier, just the world order, and we are not willing to take a stand. Y'all mentioned the Confucius Institute. You know, uh, President Biden could take a stand on that. The Senate, you know, passed that uh, bill, you know, by, uh, what do you call it, Than uh, Reconciliation. Reconcil- well, not reconciliation, but uh, unanimous Sorry. approval. And Nancy Pelosi refuses to bring it up on the House floor. They do not want to take a stand against China because a lot of it is about the bottom line. So that is, is because we just need to know this. So is the Chinese government almost the untouchable here? Well, sure. I mean, Jay, when, when you can get a spy into the office of a sitting congressman, I don't think that's an outlandish statement to make. I mean, the, the very people that you're looking to in Congress to provide a strong response are themselves compromised. So until you expose enough of them and you have a majority that can actually do something about their own members, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's um, outlandish to say that you can't trust them to respond. Look, China is trying to become the world superpower, the current world superpower. The United States, Jay, they're, they're the only ones that can stop that. I mean, how do you do that when your jury witnesses are all paid for by the Chinese government? Well, the answer is that you don't. You don't. Right. I mean, you know. So by, we have to find out. Yeah, we got to find out what the what the ties are. And, and, and we're going to do that. And that's what the ACLJ does. We're going to find out what's going on here. It's going to take time. It's going to take effort. It's going to take legal work. We'll find out what's going on. 